Welcome back to Trove One, everybody. Tonight, we're gonna build a fire truck. Hold on, before you start laughing like everybody else I've told this idea to, just, just bear with me for a minute. So I happen to have this 250 gallon water tank. I happen to have this three quarter ton Silverado sitting around, long bed, regular cab, kind of just a farm truck. And I happen to already have this Harbor Freight pump right here. So I kind of have a lot of this stuff to make this already. And it's really dry. Like it's almost record dry here in Arkansas right now. So I kind of got my mind thinking. I was like, you know what? It could be handy to take this stuff I've got plus a few more parts and pieces and I can build a little sprayer rig out of this tank and then I can just fill it up. We have access to a big pond. I can just fill it up from that pond with this pump. I can fill the tank up really fast Then I can use like a fire hose and spray stuff. But then I can also use this as dual purpose in the summer when we're doing a garden this next year. If I wanna save money on water, if I need to water the garden or fruit trees or something like that, I can pump water out of the pond into this tank, take it to my garden, water the garden out of the tank and not be spending a lot of money on water. Sometimes I don't water my garden as much as it needs because I don't wanna dump so much money into water. So this is gonna be a dual purpose setup and I'm actually kind of excited about it. So I got this great big pallet here. So I'm gonna, this is probably an eight foot long pallet. We're about to find out when I slide it all the way in here. It's, it's, it's about eight foot long. So I'm gonna put that tank on the pallet. Then I'm gonna put the pump on the pallet. Then I'm gonna do all my plumbing here and then I'll be able to just use the forks on the tractor and take this whole setup in and out of the truck in one big piece if I need to. So I can put it on a trailer, I can put it in a different truck, I can pull it out of the truck and use this truck to haul rocks or something, I don't know. So I'm gonna try to build this. I got a whole bag full of plumbing parts and pieces, maybe everything I need. I've already got partial system because we had this tank and I had this valve on it and this hose deal on it. I haven't had this tank so that if I need to for work, we could haul water somewhere. If we need to spray something out, hook a pressure washer up to it, whatever. I've had this for a while and occasionally we do need it. So that's why I already had it anyway. So we're gonna rig this up and try to make a somewhat functional fire truck, but it's really just like a watering truck. So I could, I could water gardens, trees, the yard, whatever I wanna do, I can fill this tank up and spray it out. So let's get to work. this is going to fit pretty good so this is our outlet and this is the inlet of the pump both of these are two inch so the tricky part of here is I need to be able to flip some valves and at certain times make this draw from an outlet so I can pull from a hose in the pond and then I need to be able to flip the valves and make it pull out of the tank so the outlet has to be able to go out of the back of the truck and go into the tank and the inlet has to be go being able to come from the tank or from the pond. So I've got to have a couple valves in here to make all that happen. I made a drawing and I went and got all these parts and pieces. Now I don't know where my drawing's at so I'm gonna have to remember how I designed this. So I think I can make it work. We'll figure this out. All you engineers out there, you can watch this and critique and tell me how I could have done this with less pipe, less fittings, less 90s and all that kind of stuff afterwards. But for now, I'm gonna wing it with my little pea brain and what I remember of my design, and we're gonna to try to make this work, hopefully. Okay, I had to go dig around in my truck and I finally found my drawing. Here's my drawing, so here's how it's gonna work. This is just gonna make it so much easier. I don't have to constantly think about this. I can just build it piece by piece as it's drawn out versus trying to make sure I build each one off right. So, we got this adapter. That's gonna go on here. The one downside to this setup is it's gonna really lock my pump in place because I'm not designing it with flexible hoses where I can unscrew these fittings and pull the pump off. But 
I don't really need to pull the pump off because anytime I need the pump, I'm probably gonna want some of the rest of this set up. So these adapters are gonna go on here. That's gonna get me, I'm going down to standard two inch PVC pipe versus trying to use fancy um, connectors and stuff. You can get a bunch of stuff where you can use flexible hose and things, but the connectors and everything are a lot more expensive than just regular old PVC. So I'm using this. So this one's coming out here. And then I've got to drop this one down. So I'll come down, then I'll kick over, and I get get both of these about on the same playing field because they're gonna have to tie in. So I go down. I'm gonna put a T here actually. I'm gonna go down and hit a T so I can feed back and tie these together and then shoot my outlet out this side, and my inlet will be on this side. Let me just start building this and you'll see. It'll come together. A little at a time. Most of my piece is laid out here. Sorry, the lighting is not great because it's dark outside. But I think I'm ready to start gluing some stuff together. So that's the tricky part. You gotta make sure everything's right and you gotta glue in the right order so you don't get yourself into a pickle. And I got some elevation changes right here. So I gotta glue a couple pieces at the same time. So I'm gonna put some of this together and then have to assemble big chunks and then I'll figure out the rest of it. But I think I've got this portion sorted out. All right, time to start gluing some stuff. making a mess naturally okay so then this one's got to go right here and it's gonna go at this angle so I'm gonna scoot my pump back just a little bit to make that match up okay, I'm gonna pull this up that's right about what I want right there This one, I gotta put glue on both of these and get them on there quickly and in place because this stuff sets pretty quick. So we gotta move fast, get it where we want it, and get it there quickly. All right, right there. And we'll just hold that for a minute. Let that stuff set up. Once it starts setting, you ain't moving it. You are gonna have to cut it off and start over. All right, now that's done. Now this one can go on and that's gonna go to another valve right here. I had to rearrange, I was gonna put this valve over here, which actually I don't think would have worked. Yeah, that wouldn't have actually worked. So it needs to go right here to force the outlet to go either this way or that way. So we need to put a valve right here. 
All right, I've sort of measured, sort of guesstimated. I got these pieces ready. So now I'm gonna glue up this entire section and then I'm gonna put these two on at the same time. And hopefully once I get glue on all this, it, it lines up as good as it does right there. I'm kind of angling this down, help water drain out and it lets it sit down on the pallet. So when it's not floating in the air, I don't have to fasten it. So I'm just kind of doing some weird angles here, but just trust the process. It should work in the end. Should is also a could not though, so we'll see. is assembled now I just got to glue it up here and over here at the same time and hopefully it all lines up together So now that all this side's done, I just need to get this T extended out to here and then bring it down the same as that one. And then one will be in and one will be out. So a couple more pieces to cut here and uh, get close. And no, I don't care that I'm dripping glue all over this truck. This truck literally doesn't even have one of the shock brackets. The front differential is destroyed. It doesn't have functioning power steering. It does have a good 6.0 motor and a good 5-speed transmission, though. Maybe I'll fix some of the other stuff eventually. But this is a farm truck. It's going to be a clunker for the rest of its life. It's already been a farm truck for a long time. Before I got it. All right. Last piece. There we go. All right, now this may look like a convoluted mess of a bunch of pipes, but theoretically, this will work. So, what's going to happen? I'll take my suction hose and I'll hook it right here. This goes around to this T, which goes into my inlet. I will close this valve which will force the inlet to pull water from here. So that'll force it to pull from my hose. So that's how I will fill a tank. So it'll come in, go through the pump, then it will come out the outlet right here. So when it comes out the outlet, it'll have an option of going out this way or going back this way. If I have this one closed, it can't go out that way. So it has to go this way. So it'll go through this open valve. It'll go around here. It can't go out this way because that's closed. This is my extra valve over here if I need to hook up something extra or just drain the tank or something or for future accessories. I also have a hose valve so I can put a standard hose here. But if this one's open, it'll go around here, around this 90, can't go here, can't go there. This is closed, can't go there, so it'll be forced back into the tank. It may be a little bit slower filling the tank from the bottom, but it'll save me from having to do different connections. So if it doesn't work, I'll end up going up and putting something in the top, but it should work just fine for what I'm doing. So then if I want to spray and pump out of the tank, all I gotta do, make sure that valve's open. I need to open this one. This one will get closed. 
think I just found out that I need one more valve. And then this one will get opened. Which is what I learned on this side when I started putting it together. So then the water will come out of here. It can't go back that way, so we'll be forced to go this way. This side will be pulling from here. I'm actually just realized now that I'm going through this the rest of the way, I'm gonna have to put a valve here, otherwise it's gonna to wanna to suck air. Or I can put a cap on this and just cap it off when I'm not running a hose on it. I might do that. Either way, I gotta close this somehow, otherwise it's gonna to wanna to pull air. It might pull water, but it's probably gonna go path of least resistance and pull air in right here and not suction out. So I gotta cap this off or put a valve right here. I can just do a threaded valve like that one, put a threaded valve on here or cut this and put up one of my glue in valves. Either way, I need one more valve or I just need a cap to put on there. And then theoretically it'll work. So I'm gonna be done for tonight. That's all I can do on it right now. And uh, tomorrow we'll go test this thing out. All right guys, I fixed this issue. I cut in and installed another valve there. So I got my drawing hose and my pumping hose here, this is not the best, but it's what I can get locally. It's got a little fire fire spray nozzle. So we're gonna test it out. I'd like to get an actual hose reel with a like a rubber hose on it, probably like a one inch. This is an inch and a half, probably like a one inch hose. It'll probably give me better pressure and spray, but, and I don't really like this type of hose because it's gonna kink really easy and that sort of thing. But let's take this down and go to the pond, see if we can fill up the tank and see if we can empty the tank. Let's go test it out. It's time for a test run. This truck, it's five speed, it's the NV4500. Um, the only bad thing right now is the clutch pedal switch is not uh, connected. So you can just start it and take off. Super safe. I have to keep this one locked up and no key available. Make sure the kids don't accidentally start the truck and drive across the yard. Ah, good time. Super safe. I'll fix that eventually, amongst the other 45,000 things that are wrong with this truck. All right, down here by the pond. So I'm going to put my suction hose in. It's got this large debris filter on the end, so this just keeps it from sucking up really big stuff. This pump can handle some small debris. That's fine. doesn't have to be perfectly clean water, but you don't want to suck up huge chunks. So that end goes in the pond. Other end to hook up there, get all my valves turned. And then I'll have to prime the pump on the top here. You got to fill the pump up with water. So I got a bucket for that, prime it, and we'll fire it up and see if it'll fill it up. All right, hose is in the water, hose is hooked up. That valve is open, that valve is closed, so it'll go into the pump, it'll go out of here. That one's closed, so it can't go out there, so I'll force it back that way, go around that 90, that is open. See if my engineering works. I think we have a problem. I think my pump is seized up. I think it has rusted on the inside because I can't turn the motor over and I had rusty water run out of the pump. So I may have let this sit with water in it and ruined my pump. <sighs> well, that's a little disappointing. I ran some water through it. It's not breaking loose. So inside of my pump's rusted. So I guess the last time I used it, I never drained the water out of it and it's been nine months since i last used the, this pump so it's been sitting there rusting on the inside so probably gonna have to get a new pump but i'm gonna try to put probably some 
either some gas or diesel in there. Maybe let it sit overnight. See if it'll break down that rust some. If I can get it to turn, I might be able to get it broke loose because it's not, it's rusty, but it might not be past salvaging. I don't know. I'm gonna try some things, but it's probably not gonna work today, unfortunately. So one of my design flaws on this is the way these are hooked up, I can't change the pump out easily because this is all hard plumbed in, which I knew could potentially be a problem, but I didn't think it would be a problem this quick. So I wanna look at this pump some more. So I've unbolted this. So these I've just unbolted from the pump and I'm gonna pull this thing out and look inside this pump and just see if I can clean this up and make it turn again. Now we can see the problem. That thing is rusted up. This is why you don't leave water in your pumps. You make sure they're dry when you put them into storage. I don't know. I have a feeling this isn't gonna turn, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it all apart and see if I can't. I can take this cover off, so I'm gonna disassemble all this and clean it up the best I can and then soak it in diesel. Huh, let's go see if I can fix it. That's what she looks like. Not pretty. This might have a chance though. So I just went to pull it and it's freed up now. It's spinning. So that means this part's freed up. So if I clean all this up really good, I might be able to save it. So this was kind of seizing up to this wall, but that's broke loose now, which is good. And then you can see here where that's, where those grooves were rusted to that. it from working if I can get it to turn again though it'll be all right it's probably gonna make a mess if it turns on at all Back down there at the pond got the hose set up again draw hook back up and 
I'm gonna fire this thing up and see if it'll work now. So uh, it's working. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get the camera to work because my phone was too wet and the touchscreen couldn't work. But my uh, little rubber fitting over here is kind of not good enough for the pressure this was putting out. So it started shooting water everywhere. Unfortunately, I just turned the camera off and then I picked it up. Water started spraying. I couldn't get the phone to work. It was like, I just got to shut it off. That was exciting. Okay, we've got one small problem. I need to go tighten that up. I did get quite a bit of water in the tank though, even with it leaking. So I'm gonna tighten that up and we'll we'll do a little more testing on it. I don't think I've got a screwdriver with me. I'll have to run back to the house, get a screwdriver, tighten that up and see if it'll hold. That fitting may just not take the pressure that this thing's putting out, especially with it pushing up into this tank. It's gonna end up with quite a bit of pressure there. So. We'll see what happens. All right, I got that tightened up. I'm gonna fire it up again and see if we can fill the tank all the way up. My hose clamp is kind of messed up there, so it's probably gonna start leaking again. I may have to come up with a little different solution for that, but if I can just get a little more in it, then we can test out the fire hose. So that fitting cannot handle the pressure. So I'm gonna have to change that to some sort of solid something or other. All right, but we got half a tank, so we can uh, test out the output now. All right, now we're just gonna pretend like, ugh, no power steering is not easy. We're gonna pretend like we got a fire. So there's a fire down at the cow pasture. The hogs are gonna burn up. We don't, we're not ready to fry our bacon yet, so, or smoke our hams. So we're gonna go down there and put it out, very slowly. All right, all we should need to do, open this valve, open this valve, close this valve, that valve's closed, and open this valve. It's already pushing water through the pump. And then turn her on. Well, I can tell you one thing. I don't like this collapsible hose from Harbor Freight. One, it's way too long. Two, it's a pain. But let's see if it'll work.
Okay, I like it. This is kind of cool. Check this out. Pigs are liking it. I sprayed over here on them and they were just trying to drink it out of the air. They were excited. They're like, it hasn't rained in 30 days. Because it's basically been that long since it's rained. They're like, yes, this is cool. This makes me happy. Not gonna lie, that's pretty sweet. guys pigs are excited because their pen isn't as dusty this is going to be super handy especially for water in this garden i'll just pull 250 gallons at a time out of the pond come up here with my different connections i might even put a 12 volt like 5 psi pump or uh not psi it's five gallons per minute something like that one of the little 12 volt pumps kind of like i got on the camper put that in here and then I could run like a regular garden hose or something out of it pretty easily. That would be pretty slick too. I could even put a battery in here and a little solar panel, keep it charged up and run it off of a deep cycle battery. And I could park it up here and kick it on and run a sprinkler or something out of it. So lots of uses for this. I can water the, I can come up here, rig up a sprayer on the back and drive and water like the pasture if I wanted to. I can water animals. I can water the garden. It just gives me an extra resource for free water. I can pull it out of the pond and then utilize it on our property without paying for county water. So pretty excited. Got a couple little leaks to fix, but overall I'm gonna call this a success. I need to get a better hose on like a hose reel mounted up here up high so I can come over here and pull a hose reel off to whatever length I need. That would be much, much better than this crinkly hose. But other than that, pretty happy with it. This is gonna this is gonna come in handy i need to do a big brush fire out here or something and the grass like in the winter grass is brown it can catch on fire i don't have to drag a whole bunch of hoses up here to try to get water out to it i can just roll the truck up here have higher output if i do need to put some out i can put it out faster this thing sprays really far i'm i'm impressed i am a fan i like it so all right i think i'm done causing trouble and chaos for today i'm gonna head back to the house and uh wrap it up here so thanks for watching pigs eating the blackberry vine they got a whole bucket of food over there but they like green stuff all right guys thanks for watching 
and we'll see you next time.